Missile-like object found in Indonesian waters is a Chinese underwater drone, says defense analyst. Here's a summary of the article. Singapore, an underwater surveillance drone recovered deep inside Indonesian sovereign waters last month has been found to be of Chinese origins, according to defense analytics firm Jane's. The missile-like object with wings has been identified as the Chinese-built autonomous underwater glider Haiyi or Sea Wing, said Kelvin Wong, Jane's principal unmanned systems analyst, in a Sunday note. That's the third identical underwater glider found in Indonesian waters within two years, said Wong. Underwater gliders are typically used to conduct scientific research on the underwater environment, such as gathering data on chlorophyll and oxygen levels, as well as water temperature, said the analyst. Conversely, intimate knowledge of these underwater characteristics can aid personnel in hunting potentially hostile submarines. As a result, the dual-use nature of the information gathered by underwater gliders will likely be exploited by the Chinese military, he said. Wong pointed out that the latest underwater gliders found by Indonesian were near strategic waterways and choke points. This post received a score of 3,800, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Just before someone interprets this headline as having anything to do with the airliner going down, the two events are unrelated and happened a month apart. Yeah, I was thinking that until I saw underwater drone. Then I remembered when they picked up a water drone thingamajig. I don't understand why they didn't include a picture of it. I did some googling and ran across this article. CNBC embedded a tweet that had a number of photos, which must not have loaded for you. God. I hope journalists learn very fast that they need to include their own screenshot of a tweet uploaded to their own site. Not only does this improve readability for who opens soccer, it also makes sure the article stays the same no matter what another foreign company, in this case Twitter, does. All those now broken articles because of a certain banned Twitter account should hopefully be a wake-up call to this effect. I assume by embedding the Twitter post they do not have to ask permission from the original Twitter poster in case the photos are theirs and they can also circumvent potential licensing fees. There have been instances where Twitter users changed images afterwards after having noticed news outlets using them, to either messages speaking out against those sites, or for example pornographic images etc. This is why. Underwater drones are the future of naval warfare. They'll basically make big multi-billion dollar ships like carriers obsolete. Swarm of underwater drones that are too small and slow moving for sonar to catch all and they can easily overwhelm any defensive system by sheer numbers even if fully detected. Couldn't depth charges of some sort that send a shockwave throughout the water be used to counter them? Just carpet bomb an area for lack of a better term. Yeah but that's a lot of bombs. You would have to continuously bomb an area to make sure none of these fishes swim close to your ship. Also, all it takes is one hit and that is it to sink a ship. The cost effectiveness would always work out in favor of drones over very expensive large ships. What more are these drones than an evolution of the sea mine? All you've done was add some guidance to the explosive. The main issue I see with these drones is their longevity and the means to deploy them. Like most minefields, you have to deploy and maintain them, and they're a pain in the rear to clean up. But if used in anger, China isn't the only one who can deploy explosive drones. They'd be effective tools for blockading ports. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.